So just because you and I had sex a few times, you think you become a liability in this office. You lie. Security! Throw this tramp out!
Mort. <sighs> wow, I... I don't know how you do it. You look really nice. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Stop it! <laughs> Sorry, um, let's get going. Telling you that love is nothing you can play with because it has to do with heart. I am warning you that love is nothing you can play with because it has to do with heart. Well, you're mine to please, and from today, I take it upon myself to always make you smile and laugh. That's really nice. But honestly, thank you. You're welcome. You know we can always do this, right? I mean, I just love the feeling when I'm around you. I am telling you that love is nothing you can play with because Do you want to coincide? It has to do with heart I am warning you that love is nothing you can play with because It has to do with heart
Angie? Oh, stop it. It wasn't planned. It just sort of happened. It sort of happened? Did he jump on you? Oh, that was you, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, there is just something about this guy. He's way too kind and nice for his own good. Plus, he was super gentle with me in bed that I didn't pray for money to come. Looks like someone is falling already. Just stop shutting yourself of the happiness you deserve. You're not going to live in your past forever. Um, Sylvia, I have to call you later, okay? Um, you said? Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. How was your night? It's good. <laughs> um, do you care for a cup of coffee? Oh, I wouldn't mind having a cup of coffee from a dazzling lady like this. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to tell me what you guys were gossiping about? Ooh. Who you and your you? friend. Um, do I have a friend? Really? Do I have a friend? You're going to tell me. Ooh. I don't want it too hot, yeah? Sure. I'm still waiting. Uh, waiting for? The gossip. <laughs> I am telling you that love is nothing you can play with because it has to do with heart. The heart is gullible, the heart changes. It follows the lane where it finds peace and Situations. You better be sure of what you want before it's late. Is it sugar or spice? Love or what looks like love? You better be sure of what you want before it's late. I am telling you that love is nothing you can play. It has to do with heart I am telling you that love is Nothing you can play with Because it has to do with heart 
babes. Okay. So you, my friend, look pretty much alike and well taken care of, which explains why you've now been taking my calls. You got me really worried, Angie. I'm sorry, babes. I was going to call, but... Oh, let me guess. You got yourself occupied with your newest, and then you forgot me, your BFF. Oh, Silva, well, you are my BFF, and you don't need to be overly dramatic about this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You didn't even give me a hug, I'm <laughs> sorry. Okay. Hmm? I don't really know this guy, but I'm certain he got you under his tongue. Oh, you mean I do? Excuse me. Ooh, you do. Of course I do. <laughs> wow. So he's got a huge what? Angie, why did you not take a picture and send to me? Ew. Sylvia? I don't say stuff like that. What do you mean, ew, Sylvia? Don't try to act innocent with me right now. I know. I know. Well, you know. Being around this guy, there's just something about him. Something about him that makes me want to be good. OMG! I think I know what that is. What? You're falling for him, girl! <laughs> nope. Mm -hmm. nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I am not falling for him. I don't know him too well. I. I don't even know where he lives. So what if you don't know him too well? I mean, when has that become a criteria? Wait. Did you just say you don't know where he lives? Like, ever, never? No. Did you just say you've not been to his place? No. Like, never, ever? No. So, where did... All this happened here, your apartment. Ew, Angie, I'm kind of pure. Mm. Miss Purity. Go get all sentimental with me. Please have a seat. But Angie, on a serious note, you've been dating this guy for six months, and you don't even know where he lays his head every night. It's three months and not six. Whatever. And I'm not dating him. I'm not dating. So, what have you guys been doing then? Catching crews? I'm just taking my time. Taking your time? I see. To see if you'll do the same thing Andrew did to mm. you. Sylvia, please. This caught me some slack. Fine. I really do like this guy. I like him. He's nice. He treats me nicely and he's, he's a wonderful person, but I'm not about to make the same mistake I made. Not you know now. What? You know what? You're unbelievable. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Mano! Mano! Guy, hurry, the match is about to start. Mano! I've been looking for you all around. What's going on? The match have already started. Um, babe, I have to go. Uh, the match has started. I'll call you back. <sighs> Manuel, uh, what's going on now? And if a room voice there is for me, I will go watch match. I don't say not that chick. I don't say not that babe. Not that babe. Really Angie, we're just talking. 
morning, afternoon, night, when they talk, which one they discuss? Well, eh? um, like you said, the match has started. Let's go. You don't just want to tell me what's in there. I don't understand, though. I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> no, I must find out. I must find out, you know. I don't approve of her. Approve of what? What's your reason? Do I need a reason to disapprove of a certain girl from my brother? Of course. <laughs> you can't possibly disapprove of a girl if not even met. I mean, that doesn't make sense, babe. I've met her. Yeah, in my boutique. Trust me, my spirit doesn't rapport with hers. <sighs> okay, honey. Um, <laughs> women. But honey, see, you've got to do better than that. Okay? Man, I've not met this girl for the first time before, but trust me, she's got your brother by the balls. And he likes it that way. Babe, her type is exactly what Emmanuel doesn't need. That girl is way too chosen and extravagant. Emmanuel already spent more than half a million naira in a split second. What good could such girl do? I bet she doesn't even have a job otherwise she would have kept babe, herself busy. Babe, babe, come on. Don't you think you're being overly sensitive about this? I mean, we're talking about Mana's girlfriend here. Excuse you. And the money is his, so he can spend it on whatever or whoever he so desires. Babe, calm down. Babe. What? You still don't get this. Imani has been hurt several times in the past. And funny enough, they all started like this. I'm afraid this might not end well too. He needs someone stable. Someone understandable, reliable, down to earth, but that girl, she's just far from it. Babe, don't you think you're too fast in judging this girl? Yes. Just give her some time. Calm down. Mike, I know what I'm talking about. This is my brother we are talking about here, I know. not some stranger. I know. Okay. Fine, you need to relax. I don't want you to think too much. Mm -hmm. I don't see what to do about it. It's okay now. Come on. Hmm. Okay, she can't be with my it's brother. Okay.
Hey, what's up? You're, you're not looking bright. What happened? Babe, what happened? Why the sudden change of mood? Babe, can you talk to me? What is it? Babe. Are you sure you are okay? Son, you're back. Yeah. You came back so soon. Had fun? Ah, uh, super fun. Lubita, oh. how are you? I'm fine. Good afternoon. How are you, love? Fine. What's it? What happened? Mom, I'm fine. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Did you two fight? Or something? No, Mom. But on a serious note, I really do hope we fight sometimes. So I will have a reason for him acting up. Don't worry. Let me go and meet him. Before he sleeps. <laughs> I am fine. Just go. Okay, I want to sleep. Are you sure you want me to go? Yes, just go. Are you sure you don't want this? Are you sure you don't want me? Are you sure you don't want to feast on me? Can you just go? I don't want. Are you sure you don't want to feast on your priceless jewel before you sleep? Why the attitude? What, what what's what's going on? Can you just go? I want to rest. I want to rest with you. Come Bina, on. Just go. Just go. Ah. I don't want to go. I want to stay with you here. Okay. Come on, let's let's. What is wrong? Don't you want me anymore? Just go. I should just go. I should just go. Okay. Please, when you are done, just bring yourself to me. No, Rosie. You did not have the right to go and tell mom about our business. That is not your secret to tell. Well, mom was worried and... And nothing, Rosie. And nothing. The fact that I brought her to your shop does not mean she's my girlfriend. Okay? <laughs> Wait. Why did you go tell mom? Hold on. If she isn't your girlfriend, then what is she? Some rebound for hey, Fanny. Hey. Angie is no rebound, okay? Yes, yeah, she's not my girlfriend yet, but she's nothing less than that. 
we're still trying to figure ourselves out. Wow. But she already spent huge amounts of money on her. What does she do, by the way? Leech on you? you better be careful with your choice of women. Then you need to be careful about the kind of women you choose to keep in your life. That girl is wrong for you. I mean, wrong in every dimension. How do you know that? Do you know her? Have you met anybody talking about Angie before? Well, I do not need to meet with her before getting to know that she's out to destroy you. I mean, you just like every other guy has done in the past. When would you ever learn from your past experiences, Emmanuel? That girl is not right for you. Open your eyes and say it. That's all you know. Open your mouth and laugh. What are you doing there? Why don't you come this color? What is wrong? Are you okay? Look, I know I wasn't myself and I, I was so hard on you, but you need to tell me if I hurt you. Angela, did I Is it just sex for you? What? Don't you dare watch me, Manu. Where were you? For two weeks. Two good weeks. You didn't call. You didn't reply my messages. Nothing. And you show up at my doorstep today and the next thing we do is fall into bed again. What are we even doing? I was taking care of something. Really? Something? Something that you could not even send a message, even hi. You deserve more than a hi. Don't you dare tell me what I deserve or not because you don't know me. Not even in the slightest way. I 
am sorry. I am sorry I did not call or send a text. I went somewhere. I was not home. I know you're not going to believe me, but this is more than just sex for me. Trust me. What is it for you? Is that not what we are doing? Figuring it out? You and I? Please leave. Come on, Angela. It hasn't gotten to that. Just hear me out. Oh, I hear you loud and clear, Mr. Figuring Things Out. Just get out. Go ahead, figure things out. Then you come back to me when you have fully figured everything. Angela. Get out! Get out! Yeah, slow, slow down. Take it easy. I will go. I am telling you that love is nothing you can play with because Angie. It has to Angie, come on, open this door. Angie. Angie, please now, please. Angie. Angie, just open this door and let's talk this out. Angie. My God, the nerve. You mean he said that to you? You can imagine. I don't get it. I don't understand what men take us for. Some sort of toy they can play around with and discard at will. It's really annoying. It's okay, Angie. It's not. It's not okay to spend four months with someone and they still couldn't place you anywhere in their life. It's really painful. <sighs> um. Has he called? He's been calling and texting. No, I'm not responding at this point. I, I care less. Why don't you pick his call? Maybe he has um, figured things out. I think you should. I'm coming. What are you doing here? Not even a mistaken beep. That means she must still be very mad at you. Well, that argument has already been established. I mean, it's been days now. How long is she going to be angry for? Oh, uh, you're right. I have to tell you the honest truth. You messed up. Yes. For over four months, you still got to figure things out. Well, that was the truth at the moment. She asked for honesty, and I gave it to her. What were you expecting me to say? Well, I Tell I was head over heels in love with her when I'm not? Well, then I see no reasons you'll still be so perturbed about uh, keeping distance. I mean, both of you needed break to figure things out. You are unnecessarily annoying, you know that, right? For stating the fact. 
I know you tell me. How are you even my friend? Well, no, I'll keep telling you the truth. Let's drink up. What do you want? You don't take nor reply my messages. What's going on? Like you need to ask? Look, Angela, I need us to talk. Isn't the message clear already? I don't want to talk to you. You can't avoid me forever. No. Listen, you Andrew. Avoid me for the rest of your life. Listen, Andrew. If ignoring your calls isn't enough for you, then get this into your thick skull. Stay away from me. You made it clear the last time, didn't you? That I'm just some pawn, some random girl you pick from nowhere and toss around the way you like. Isn't it? Let me be. Uh, listen, Angela, I need us to talk. Let's, let's talk this over, please. Angela. You guys went out. Did we go out? As a matter of fact, I, I, I didn't go anywhere. But I had both of you planning to go out this afternoon. Yes, we did. But I slept off, Mom, only for me to wake up and it's out. No, that's not fair. Thank God. Thank God this is coming from you, Mother. This is not fair. It is not fair. I am a woman. I deserve attention. I deserve to be taken care of. At first, I, I thought maybe your son is facing some stress at work. But right now, I'm not sure anymore. This is getting out of hand. Mom, please talk to your son. Please. It's okay. I'll talk to him. Don't worry. I'll talk to him, okay? It's all right. Please, please, just talk to him, please. Are you kidding me, Mom? Is Lupita a kid? Do I have to drag her around whenever I'm going out? Oh, stop being smart with me and tell me exactly where you're coming from. Mom, you have to stop trying to control my life. I am not a child. If she thinks I'm being unfair to her, she knows where the door is. Pack your things and leave. Andrew. Excuse me. Hello? I told you to leave me alone, Manu. Um, Angie, please, do not hang up. Just hear me out. I need to talk to you. 
About what? About us. About everything. If you don't mind, can we meet somewhere so we can just talk? Fine. But I don't want to go anywhere, especially with you. Okay, but um, can I come over to the house? Let me know when you're here. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, You're going to come out. Me neither. Well, here I am. I'm sorry I kept you waiting. It's okay. I'm glad you're here now. Um, did you come straight from work? Kind of. So, what's up? Uh, didn't I yet? Nah, I'm not hungry. That can wait. I couldn't wait to see you. I miss you. I miss you too. You do? Because of the phone with Amaka and Paul, even Marshall, and he's not with either of them. Where could he be then? Where did he go to? At this time of the night. Oh mom, mom, please, please just calm down, okay? Let me continue trying his number. What happened to you? Oh my goodness. Were you involved in an accident? Why haven't you been picking your calls? Talk to us now. What happened? I'm okay. I'm fine. Ha. Young man, I want you to tell me what happened to you. <gasps> Who did this to you? I want to know. No one, Mom. Did you fight? Mom, stop being worried. I'll be okay. You're not okay. You're not fine. Just talk to us. Tell us the person. Just give us the person's name. Tell us the bastard that did this to you. The person needs to be put behind bars. What is all this nonsense now? Peter, I appreciate your concern. But honestly, you have to stay out of this. Eh? It's none of your business. It is my business. Your business is my business, Andrew. You won't talk to her like that. No, you won't. 
She has been worried sick about you. Tell him. Sim no bo my business. Mom, this is a serious issue. Like, was he fight? Maybe he could have jam and for face. Hey, brother. Oh my goodness. Jeez. I actually prayed so hard that you're trying to pull Alex, but this is so bad. Who are you thinking before getting into a fight? Hey, hey, do not lecture me. And don't you dare try to murder me right now. Oh, please. Mom is not here to do that for you, so I'm technically I'm here. Let me get something to clean you up. My goodness, why don't you ever listen? Babe, please, help call the doctor, please. Hey. Honestly, Seal, I am so confused right now. I'm still shocked at Andrew's behavior. I least like expected this from him. Just forget about Andrew. Have you tried getting in touch with your lover boy? Is he okay? He wouldn't peek. He's obviously mad at me after finding out about Andrew. I mean, I didn't expect him to be happy. This wasn't the way I planned on telling him. Don't worry, Angie. His anger is justified. He won't be angry for long. Do you want me to call him? Uh, no, 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 no. I, I don't want it to seem awkward. If you so wish, just keep me posted of what happens. Sure, I will. Bye. Please speak up. Can't I see my girl again? Your girl? Yes. We are done. You said so yourself. So let me be. I can't. She know I love you, Angela. Really? Like I'm some piece of furniture you own? If we want to go down memory lane, you and the things. You called me a cheap whore before your mother. So what more do you want? Another chance to make things right. Another chance to make it up to you. We are so done with that. Let me be. What's so hard for you to understand there? Angela. Angela. Angela, I said I'm sorry, OK? Angela. I am sorry, just hear me out, okay? Angela, I love you, don't you get it?
What's there now? Come on, what's this place? What be you? What be you? Come on, what's this place? Oh, madam, you're back. Welcome. Should I set the table now? Madam Lupita. told me. What is it? Lupita, what is it you're crying? Come on, talk to me. What is it? <laughs> oh, come on, please. Calm down and talk to me. What is it? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I want you to calm down. Stop crying and talk to me. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, ma'am, this girl in question has a boyfriend. Point of correction, she had a boyfriend. Oh, oh, okay, okay, fine. She had a boyfriend. But I think that's where the problem is coming from. I mean, why would that guy want to beat your ass to pop? I don't know. Maybe they had a rough break. A <sighs> rough break? But that's not your business. No. I mean, why would he take it up on you instead of her? I don't get it. Really? Of course. Okay, tell me what, what happens now. What's next? How do you mean? What do you mean by how do I mean? I don't get it. Don't tell me you still want to continue going out with that girl. Huh? Everything about that girl is sort of a bad news. Everything like what? About your sister's perception about her. Huh? Your sister has never been cool with her and, and this happened. Do you think your sister will sit and watch this unfold? Well, this is why you're going to keep your mouth shut. This is going to remain between you and I. Well, well, right here I'm going to promise you that, or the other way around, I don't know, my sister begins to be touchy. Hey, 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 can you stop telling me about the things my sister does to you? What, 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 what is that? Hey, well, you don't need to blame me, your sister is freaking hot. <laughs> your sister is freaking hot. So fine. You know what, um, I need your help with something. Marco! Hi. Hi. I am Marco, Mana's friend. Oh. And you must be Angela, right? Yes, I am. You always talk about you. Really? What's the time? Well, um, how is he? Is he okay? I, I called all through the night. I even sent messages. He didn't pick my calls. Neither did he reply my messages. Forget it. He is mad. Well, well, he should have at least let me know he's fine or something. You see, um, Angela, relax, okay? To answer your question, so, you know. But for the first time, I'm, I, I've seen him photo by a woman. I'm telling you. And I was surprised. But he's not mad at you. Of course, if he's mad at you, I wouldn't be here. Hmm. He even sent me over to check on you. He did? Of course, he did. Sorry he was pretty in a bad shape last night, so he couldn't pick up your call. Neither could we. Mm -hmm. Yes, my wife and I. I'm married to his sister. She's my friend as well. 
Oh, cool. That's nice. Well, if you don't mind, if you want to see him now, we can. Do you mind? Sure, of course. I, I want to see him. Please just have a seat. Let me. Thank you. Seat, Thank you. Ah. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. What's up? Thank you. Let me get the door for you. Bro. Yeah. Thanks. I know this is bad timing. I never intended to invite you to my house like this. But nonetheless, you're welcome to my humble abode. Just make yourself comfortable. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry about what Andrew did to you. You didn't deserve any of that. And I know I owe you an explanation about him. He's Your ex. That is pretty clear. See, I don't hold you accountable for what he did. I just didn't know you were in a relationship and I didn't know how it ended. It was pretty bad. Angie, look at me. You don't have to explain yourself if you don't want to. Truth is, I did not give you room to tell me all those things. Neither did I. And I'm sure we both have our own reasons. Hopefully, as time goes on, we'll have time to talk about those things, right? All right. I'm really sorry. Shh. Don't beat yourself. The reason why you were here is because I missed you and I don't want you to feel guilty for something you know nothing about. So relax. Thank you. You're welcome. Do you care for anything to drink? <laughs> I am telling you that love is nothing you can play with because it has to do with heart. That love is nothing you can play with because it has mm. You like it? I love it. <laughs> really nice. Thank you. What? Nothing. <laughs> hey sis. You're here, welcome. Um, I'm, I'm not sure we've met before, but we've met. You don't seem to have a sharp memory. Um, Angie, this is my sister. Sister, Rosie. I know her, Emmanuel. 
What I do not know, understand, is what she's doing here. Are you still seeing hey, her? Hey, 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 stop it. Can you be nice? Angie here is my guest. Please, uh, come. Come, sit down. Oh, um, you brought food for me? Uh, too bad, I'm already eating, but if you want, you can... Just don't mind that, okay? Just, let's eat. Did I do anything wrong? No, you didn't do anything wrong. You're just feeding me. Look at me. Ignore her, just feed me, I'm hungry. You wanna smile for me? Smile, a real one. That is not a real smile. Okay, now I'm gonna die because you're not feeding me. I never told you that. Oh, man, I'm not dumb. My goodness. You already started because of a woman. This is so unlike you, brother. She is not the subject for my fight. I already told you everything that happened. You can choose to believe me or not, but please, leave Angie out of your weird imagination. She has nothing to do with any of this. She's not right for you, bro. Rosie. You know, I am at the stage of my life where I can consciously and confidently decide on that. And whatever my decision is at the end of the day, you don't have a choice than to respect that. We may not have a definite term for what we have going on, but I want you to know that Angie is a huge part of my life and I don't want you scaring her. Me? Scare her? No way. She's going to leave. And when she does, trust me, it's never going to be on me. Hey, please listen to me. Can you please listen to me? I'm talking to you. Hey, please. You can't be this angry forever. You told me it's not good for your health. You know. Patronize me, Mike. You know better than he is. You knew he got involved in that gang fight, but you said nothing about it. You're just as bad. Hey, I wish to tell you. I wanted to tell you, but I don't want you to run off to tell your mother about this. You know how sensitive she is with things. I'm sorry. Are you calling me a loud mouth? No, 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 please. But that's what you implied. No, no, no. Oh my God, Mike, no. I can't believe you right now. Wait, okay. It's a bad choice of word, my bad. I'm sorry, okay, but look at it on the brother side. What if I made the right choice for him? At least he has finally moved on from Fanny. Of course. Please, okay. Thank God he smiled, unlike the past few years. That is the most important thing. Understand me. I am sorry for everything. Please. With someone like her, I beg to differ. Babe, you... Are you serious? I honestly can't believe that your brother could do something like that. Believe me, Neki. It's so annoying whenever I get to think about it. I mean, just for a girl. Wait a minute. 
Are you sure that girl is not using jazz on him? Well, I won't be surprised if she is. Otherwise, he wouldn't be following her like a lost puppy. Well, I don't think jazz is going to work on your brother. I don't think so. Babe, I'm the fear girls of these days, though. You have no idea what they are capable of just to get whatever they want. <laughs> I can't start judging her from a distance. I have not gotten to know her. I don't believe she'll be that bad. You know, I don't think so. Okay, I know what I'm saying. You know, if it's with someone like you, I won't be bothering myself. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I don't want it. I have told you several times. Stop matchmaking me with your brother. It's not going to work. Okay. Ha. Both can still give love a chance. Which love? Where is the love? See, uh, Rosie, please. I don't have strength for this topic now. Just, I came here to look for the new arrival. You say you have a new arrival. Please go and bring them. Ah. And let's stop this talk. Which love? Which love are you talking about? Where is the love? <laughs> Beautiful, sexy, so where to? I should be asking you that. Where are we going? Are we going on a date? Do you want to take me on a surprise date? Lupita, I am going out for something private. I'm not going with you. The last time I checked, I'm your fiance. So I don't think I can spoil anything for you. Listen, I know you have friends. Call your friends, visit them, okay? Today, this movement is for me alone. I don't want to go out with my friends. I want to go out with my boyfriend, my fiance. You heard what I said. You did not walk out on me. Don't do that to me. We're still talking. I'm your fiance. Take me anywhere you're going to. Yes. You are not going out with me. Period.
that's love is nothing you can play with because it has to do with heart. I am warning you that love is nothing you can play with because it has to do with heart. The heart is gullible, the heart changes. It follows the land where it find peace and comfort. The heart is gullible, the heart changes. It follows the land where it find peace and comfort. Is it sugar or spice? Love or infatuations? You better be sure of what you want before it's late. Is it sugar or spice? Love or what looks like? Hello. Oh. Good day. Same here. Um, please, um. Do you know Angela's whereabouts? You mean you didn't see her leave this morning? Um, not really. I don't think I've seen Angela for like two days now. Okay. All right. oh. um, don't you have a number? You can call her. Don't worry. What nonsense are you telling me, Henry? I told you I need something concrete. Don't you get it? I paid you heavily for your services. So don't make it look like you're doing me one big favor or, or, or something. Henry, do what you are paid for. Get off my phone! Ah! What is it? What's going on? Are you okay? How was your night? It was good. You know I love it when you wear my shirt. You do? It looks good on you. <laughs> I want you to wear it every day. Oh, that is exactly what I've been doing. Not like I came with any clothes anyway. Well, that is not a problem. It can be solved. Let's go shopping. No. Why? No, 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 Mano. We aren't going shopping, please, no. It hasn't been long you took me shopping. Besides, I have not even worn half of the clothes you got me. Am I complaining? You mustn't complain. We are not going shopping. I don't want you to spend more. So what are we going to do? Since I'm not going to work today, I was thinking uh, we should go out there and have a little fun. Why aren't you going to work? Well, let's just say I decided to. Perks of being your own boss. So tell me, what do you say? You sure try very hard, buddy. Well, I wouldn't be so successful if I wasn't going to work again. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? So we'll go shopping, right? <laughs> you win, you win, you win, you win. We'll go shopping. Yeah. So what are you making? It's a surprise. Surprise? Ooh, I love surprises. I know you do. I can wait. Don't keep me waiting, yeah? Okay. Don't keep me waiting. Don't keep me waiting. Don't keep me waiting. You know I heard that, right? Oh, what? You know I heard that. What? I heard that. What, what do you want to do? Oh, oh no, come, come. Come. <laughs> I gotta <attack> kill you. <laughs> 
I see you're still blinded. Rosie, not now, please. I don't know what you think you're doing with that. And I will not sit back and watch you make another mistake of your life. Do you realize that I'm old enough to take care of myself? Oh, please! Please, man, I need you to open your eyes. Rosie! Open your eyes! Stop! Ooh. Aren't these my favorite siblings? Hello! Ah, Neki. It's been fine. a long time. How have you been? I'm fine. I'm good. And you? I'm good. It's been a long time. Yeah, since you've not been around, you know. Fine. Yeah, you know how work is, you know what I'm saying? I can see. So how are you doing? How are you guys doing? I don't mm -hmm. mind this one. She's always like that. Mm -hmm. So how's the business? Oh, yeah. Hey, you ready? Yes, I am. Nice. <laughs> Hi, you look pretty. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I'm um, sorry. Angie, meet my friend Neka, Neki. This is Angie. Hi, Neka. Hi. Nice oh. to meet you. Just call me Neki. Oh. I could see um, the one that has been making your head spinning. Oh, she's looking good. Oh. Mm -hmm. I guess Rosie has been running her mouth. Well, not in a bad way. Anyways. Thank you. Uh, we have to get going. All right. Nice I'll to meet you. you. All right. Yeah. Take care. All right. All right. Let's, um, go. Let's go. Bye. Let's go. Bye, Neha. All right. Bye. She's not bad. Poor. So that's you. Yeah. Well. She's not bad. She's beautiful. Are we talking about beauty here? What happens to the inward beauty that supersedes every other thing? Oh, well, you can't just judge her. You've not spent enough time with her. Well, I don't need to spend time with her before getting to know what she's capable of. What if you are wrong? <sighs> I wish I am. But that's besides the point. He's even confused right now. He doesn't know if you should call her a girlfriend or a lover. <laughs> Please. The guy I just saw now is far from being confused. I mean, <laughs> that guy is in love. Wait, you think he's confused? Ah, nah, he's not confused. <laughs> no, see, let's just change something, okay? <laughs> Please, I don't want to laugh. Let's, let's change this topic, okay? Please. So, how have you been? Why would you think that? Look, it's not you, it's me. That's not true. I swear, she's just being protective of me. Let me guess, you had a rough wake up that took a toll on you. Was it her? Who, Neki? No, 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 no. Neki and I dated when we were younger and I messed everything up with my uncontrolled jealousy. But it has nothing to do with you. That one must have hurt too. Yeah. First heartbreak ever. <laughs> it was crazy. But how did we get talking about my past? Uh, I'm sorry, I I shouldn't have asked you about her. No, it's it's fine. It's okay. You, you and I know that's not what I mean. Look, I don't want you to think that all this is happening because of you, okay? You alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Good. There you go. I am telling you that love is nothing you can play with. Because it has to do. Sue! Hey, Angie. What are you doing here? Um. Hold on. Have you been sleeping here for days? Oh, 
what's going on? Nothing. Um, not really. I'm just fine. Don't do that. Wait. Syria. I know you too well. So tell me what is wrong. Is that it again? I'm sorry, it's fine. Angie, you see, I never knew what time would come that I would say men has come. But yeah. Yes, they are. I've had first-hand experience, so I understand. I'm not too worried. You'll be back, okay? I don't want him to come back. I want him to stay far from me, Angie. I want him to stay far. <laughs> that was the same thing you said the last time. And immediately you apologized, you ran into his arms. That's because I was blinded by love. Blanche, this hurts. It really, really does hurt. It hurts. <laughs> I don't want to hurt. Please, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, please. Say something. I'm sorry, Mano.
Why is Andrew doing this to me? What does he want? He's literally turning my life into a living hell. I dated him but he threw me to the wolves to save his silly ass and now he wouldn't even let me be. Angie, this is really getting out of hand. And it's beginning to piss me off. I think it's time you had a talk with this guy. For how long? Why I mean, have spoken to him about this, but he wouldn't listen. Like, I'm even beginning to sound like a broken record. This is just... Okay, calm down. So what are your plans? What do you want to do? Has Manuel? How is he handling all this? He's really pissed. I think you can look at him in the eyes when you go home. Or who would he be? We really need to talk to this guy. I mean, it's obvious merely telling me off is not working. You have a man in your life now. He can keep on doing all this. Book an appointment, a restaurant, a lounge, anything. But you both really need to talk. Please. Maybe that's the only way he'd listen. You have to. Okay. See, this is exactly what I've been afraid of. You know, this is it. I told you this guy is of no good. But you wouldn't listen. Now say it to yourself. You even fought on the public. And that's too for a girl. Lucy, please calm down. Calm down. You know, laying blames and, and yelling isn't going to solve anything. Of course they won't. Because he's never going to listen. So why now? Where is the girl in question, if I may ask? Run off home to call up and cry, or probably back in her lover's arms? Rosie, stop it. Yes, I know you don't like it, and I get it. But you don't have the right to talk to her like that. Like that is a big enough. I said enough. Do you know what? Do whatever you want. I'm done talking. But don't say I didn't warn you. And why am I even bothered? It's not my name being plastered all over the internet. Just do whatever that pleases you. I don't give a damn. Rose. Rose. Calm down. Calm down. Don't take her words to her. You know your sister, she's very stuck. But I'm talking about it. Okay. Rose. Boyfriend, news flash. You see this relationship? We die here. We are in this together. I go nowhere, you go nowhere. Yes, so we die here. Get prepared though, because I go nowhere, whether by force 
or by this. Anyhow you want it, I will give it to you. I am soon to be Mrs. Andrew. So get that into your thick skull. Rubbish. Here, yeah, Henry. Do you have any news for me? Are you for real? <laughs> uh, that's good. That's the kind of news I love to hear. Thank you very much. I'll see you later. How may I help you? Yes, I'm Mr. Emmanuel. Yes. You're under arrest. For what? When we get to the station, you explain more. <laughs> Move this way. Don't worry. I'll go. Nonsense. What stupid missing persons report are you talking about? No. No. Uh, Michael, please, I'll, I'll be there shortly, please. What's the meaning of this? Inspector, I don't understand what kind of misunderstanding this is. Get my brother out of there. He hasn't done anything. He's innocent. Please. Can you stop? Please don't tell me to calm down. You know my brother so well. You know him. He's not capable of doing such a thing. And besides, the girl in question is, oh, here she is. The almighty missing and raped Angela. Babe, Please. Can you stop? Control your emotions. Woman, do you know where you are? If you continue with this, I will ask you to leave this office. No, you shouldn't be saying that, Inspector. I mean, how 
do you make an arrest without proper investigation? Young woman, who are you? I am the woman at the center of this controversy. I am Angela Obadi. And the man in your custody is innocent. Innocent? Yes. I don't even know why someone will file a missing person's report on me when I am here. I'm not missing, obviously. Fine, I believe whoever made this report must have dropped a picture. So you can confirm I'm the same person in the picture. So check. Stop there. Just stop, okay? So it is not enough that you're milking my brother dry. You even connive to have his name tarnished. How more low would you stoop? Rosie, it's not her fault. You know it's a little misunderstanding, right? From her lover, right? What does that even tell you? Listen, mom is already all shaking up because of all this. She doesn't be more worried about your mother than this. Rosie, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Alright? All this is because of her ex-boyfriend. And trust me, I'll do something about it, okay? Just, let's go. Drag an innocent man into your mess. Angela was only trying to save you. Save me from what? Tell me. Save me from what? Because from the look of things, the only person who needs saving is you. And that is to save you from your destructive self. What are you saying? This is me yeah. trying to save Andrew. Andrew, I am really trying to become here. Let me be. I am begging you in the name of God. Let me be. I won't let you be. I will not let you be. How do you expect me to let you be? I can't and I won't. This is me. This is me trying to save you from that God forsaken soul of a bitch. I will not let you be. This is what I foresaw. I told you this guy isn't right for you, but you wouldn't listen. Because I'm the one with the widest imaginations. Now look where it has gotten you. A police cell for a crime you never even thought of. Please, no, don't babe me here. I know none of you would ever see anything wrong with what that girl did. She's about ripping my brother's life into pieces. What you guys see in her is really beyond me. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, where are you going to? Hey, hey. Can you just let the young man be? Can't you see that he's obviously stressed for heaven's sake? Then why are you shouting at me? I have to shout at you, you need to calm down. Let him rest, please. Excuse me, please. Mike? Michael! Be Emmanuel! What happened to him? What happened to him, Andrew? What happened to him? Uh, I, I, I have no idea, ma. He has refused to talk since he came to join the guys and I to drink. I, I've even tried asking him, but he didn't say anything. He didn't say anything? Nothing, ma. Would Why would you allow him to drink to this extent? Why didn't you stop him? Don't talk like that. You should be grateful that he brought him back home. Thank you, my dear. Uh, he's nothing, ma. Sorry. He would have done the same for me, ma. Uh, I have to take my leave now, ma. Take care of him, please. Bye-bye. <laughs> You 
got yourself drunk? I am not drunk, mom. I am not drunk. You are drunk. Oh. You are. Mom, what are we going to do? Take him to his room. Take him upstairs. Mom, you know I can't. It's heavy. Leave me. I can take myself upstairs. <coughs> It is okay. Yes, we're in the room. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry, okay? Sorry, you'll be fine. Angela. Angela, I love you so much. What? Angela, I love you. Angela, I love you. What? Angel, you love Angel. I love you so much. What is wrong with you, Andrew? Angel. You're not serious. yourself because of this girl. A girl that is that is even contemplating on, on, who, on whom to be with. You know this is not her fault, right? Don't okay. care. The truth is that what happened happened because of her. So I don't care. She's bad news. Hey, 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 please. Do not talk about her like that. No, I should call her I should call her an angel. I should call her an angel. Mano, I know how much you like this girl. And I know you are fighting it. But ask yourself a question, does she want it? Huh? You've been passing through a lot lately because of this particular girl, Mana. So, what would you have me do? Kick her to the curb? Well, you can do that if you want. You can go ahead and do that. I support you. Okay? But if you think she's worth it, fine. So you have to ask yourself a question. Is she worth it? You better be sure for what you want before you slay. I am telling you. Yes, Mr. DPO. I believe we live in a country with a constitution ruled by laws, and no man is above the law. I want you to take this matter and follow it up to the end. I cannot be humiliated and let it go just like that. No, sir. Please, I want this matter trashed legally. I will stop by at your office later in the day. Thank you. No, Mom. I am not going to do it. Why should I? I did nothing wrong. Really? You got an innocent man arrested? For no reason. And to you, you did nothing wrong. Are you crazy or I what? I did what was necessary to save your life. He's not good for her. And he's bad news. No. She is bad news. You have caused a lot of damage since you started seeing this girl. And what is it about this girl that drives you not? Very simple. I love her, Mom. I love her. I've always loved her. I kept this secret because of the kind of person you are. Guess what? You did exactly what I feared. But you know what? I am not going to make that mistake again. For your information, Mom, Tell her to pack her things and leave this house because I am not going to marry her. Andrew! God has come over you. Oh God. I don't get it.
Yeah? What have you got? Right, um, send that to my email right now. Because he refused to tender an apology, you're doing this. Now tell me, what do you intend to gain? What do I intend to gain? Yes. I don't know. But all I know is your family is in for trouble and bankruptcy if this gets to the public. You know what? It's not because I'm afraid of your threat, young man. Because I never wanted my son mingling with the likes of that girl. She's not just the bad news, she's the worst news. I wonder what you saw in her. I saw a treasure. One that everyone was blind to see. You know what? He will marry Lubita. She is my chosen one. You don't need to worry yourself about him anymore. Thank you. Oh, and um, I don't make threats. I just don't make empty promises. I'll tell you something. Just an advice. Be careful of that girl. Thank you. But I don't need it. Have a nice day, Mrs. Bernard. What nonsense! Come on, Mike. You're blowing this out of proportion. You're telling me to calm down? I should calm down? Huh? You took a risk you shouldn't have. You were telling me, Manuel, to calm down. Do you know what could have happened to you while you were there? Oh, come on, that was some sort of stupid move we made. I know. All that you're saying, I've heard you. But I just went there to relay a message. And I'm sure by now, he has gotten it. I know, but you still mess up. You took a risk, you messed up. Huh? You're just lucky that your sister is not here. If not there, she could have freaked out on you. Trust me. You messed up. Meanwhile, how is Angela? How is it going with her? Honestly, I don't know. I haven't spoken to her since that last time. I'm sure she still thinks I am mad at her or probably I hate her right now. I know, but on the contrary, it's the other kind of feeling. So have you told her how much you truly love her? Mike. Of course, I know you're crazy about this girl. I mean, I'm surprised that she never noticed it. To drill out questions from you. <laughs> Listen, Mano. Okay, I know your past relationships has been hell of a ride. But you can't keep judging every woman like that. You know, respecting the worst from them. No, my friend. You know what? You have a point. I mean, all these things you're saying, it's right. Angela is for me. Well, good luck, bro. Good luck. Thank you. Manuel. Ah.
What is the meaning of this? Huh? Have you been drinking this early morning? Who would drive like this if not for you? So, stealing my woman wasn't enough for you? Then you had the guts, the nerves, to come to threaten me in my own house. Did I hear you say your woman? <laughs> She's not your woman, you frustrated son. She stopped being your concern the moment you kicked her to the curb. Now get this straight. She doesn't want to have anything to do with you. When I met her, you guys were done. So get your shit right and move your, your whatever out of my way because I am running late. Do not say you weren't warned. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Rubbish. For crying out loud, Angie, you're making the whole air choky. Can you at least, can you at least sit down? No, not to do. <laughs> you have two options. It's either you call him or text him. I mean, that's if you decided to have the necessary talk with him. But what if... Angie, this is a guy that treated you badly. So what's with the what if? You need to have a necessary conversation with him and put him in his place. You should. He's not coming. Do I know you? No, you don't. But you know my man that you've been screwing all this while. I, I don't get Andrew. You. I'm talking about Andrew. Or don't you know Andrew anymore? Look, the fellas. Shut the fuck up. Listen, Angela, whatever they call you. I'm not here to fight with you. I'm very calm, right? I'm here to warn you. Stay away from my man, Andrew. Andrew is mine. Stop taking him away from me. Andrew is mine. Can't you just let him be? Stay away from him if you don't want to regret your life. I'm calm, right? But the next time you will see me, I wouldn't be this calm. Hold on. I'm not done talking to you. Listen. I can be quite patient, but not when you want to mess around with my man. Even a patient dog has its limits. This is my limit for me. Stay away from my man. Stay away from Andrew. Stay away from him because the next time I will come back to you because of this same issue. You regret your life. You, 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 you frustrated be bitch. This conversation with Andrew and not. You still have the match to talk. <laughs> You see, I'm to talk. Let me tell you something. This is a tip of an iceberg of what will happen to you if you don't stay away from my man. You see, I'm to talk. I don't blame you. Rubbish. Let me see you close to my man again. I will disfigure your face. Husband snatch, Olosha. Olosha. What is it? Oh, finally you came. <laughs> I came to do what I should have done since. 
You are my man and nobody is taking your man from me! Did you hear that? Rubbish! Lupita! Don't look at me! Lupita! Let me see you! Let me see you close to him again! Let me see you close to him again! We are done. We are so done. And you stay away from me. Don't get me involved in this, your rubbish. Okay? Stay away from me. I think we cannot do this. You're leaving my house and that is fine now. Give me my bag. I'm going somewhere. Give me my bag. You're leaving Let my house. Take it anymore, Mom. Yes, I could not. Mom, you are a woman. Put yourself in my shoes. You understand how I feel. How can you see someone you call your man going around town with some other girl? Mom, am I not good enough for him? Olivia, you have been with Andrew long enough to know he's a stubborn boy. If you keep pushing like this, you will lose him. I lost him long time ago, Mom. Yes. Mom, this is not the Andrew I grew up with. This is not the Andrew I fell in love with. This is not the Andrew that is supposed to be my husband, Mom. <laughs> Mom, you know I've tried, I've tried. I... <gasps> I've tried my best to make this thing work between me and him, but... <laughs> He's not just responding. He doesn't see me like he doesn't even know if I exist or not. Mom, it's not easy now. I'm a woman. Mom, you should understand. You're a woman like me. It's okay. Just calm down. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I understand how you feel. It's okay. Trust me. I understand how you feel. But you need to calm down, please. <laughs> What do you want me to do? It's even like I kill myself. Oh my god, a sniper. I want to go down. Calm down, okay? It's okay. It's okay. Calm down, okay? Babe. What do you want? Haven't you and your girlfriend done enough? I am here for us to talk. There is nothing for us to talk about. I have said this severally. Angie, I am still very much in love with you. I am sorry I could not stand for you when my mother surfaced. I know you are hot. You have every right to be mad at me. But here am I, pleading for a second chance. I 
I know I I have made mistakes. I am human. I am ready to fix them. Believe me. Angie. I still love you. I still want to be that man you once loved. Remember, everything we had in the past. All the time we shared. I really love you. Angie! Angie. Let him go. Love is nothing you can play with because it has to do with heart. I am warning you that love is nothing you can play with because it has to do with heart. The heart is gullible, the heart changes. It follows the lane where it find peace and comfort. The heart is gullible, the heart changes. It follows the lane where it find peace and comfort. Is it sugar spice? Love or infatuations? You better be sure for what you want. Before it's late, is it sugar or spice? Love or what looks like love? You better be sure of what you want before it's late. I am telling you that love is nothing you can play with because it has to do with heart.
forced to be there. You can't be forced to work. Listen, you have I cannot marry you. I will not. So, the earlier you pack your things and leave, the better for you and I. Get your things and leave when you still have time. Let's not force the please. Andrew, please. You can make this work, please. I'm forgiving you. Andrew, please. Do you think she would like it? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's it's beautiful. Angela. Honestly, you you're the most beautiful thing that has ever happened in my life. You're my joy. You're my happiness. To my word. In fact, to my everything. And I love you. I love you so much. You know, I can go on and on to read you an epistle of why I want you in my life. But there will be no need for that. Because you already know how much I love you. Angela. Would you do me the favor of being my wife? I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Andrew, I've been trying so hard to deceive myself that this is working. But the truth still remains that we are not good for each other. No. What are you saying? You love me. I don't love you. I'm in love with someone else. Angela, you said you loved me. Listen, Andrew. We should not waste each other's time. You need to find someone else, someone who is willing to love and be with you. It's not me. Angela, please. Drew, please, don't pressure her. Hey, Angie, I am so proud of you. I have been waiting for you to make this decision. So now you have. Can we go now? Uh, no. Bye, they my said, dear. Um, Angela, said, let's go. I am telling you that love is nothing you can play with because. Oh. I told you. 
I told you. Look at that beautiful drama. Because it has to do with heart. The heart is gullible. The heart changes. It follows the lane where it finds peace and comfort. The heart is gullible. The heart changes. It follows the lane where it finds peace and comfort. Is it sugar, spice, love or infatuations? You better be sure of what you want before it's late. Is it sugar, or spice, love or what looks like love? You better be sure of what you want before it's late. I am telling you. That love is nothing you can play with because it has to do with heart. I am telling you that love is nothing you can play with because it has to do with heart. What are you doing here? Rosie, because I need to see Emmanuel. I need to talk to him. He's not here. You're lying. I get it, you don't like me, and you may have your reasons, but please, I need to see him. I need to talk to him. You want? Why? She wants to talk to your brother, not you. Seal, let me handle it, okay? I am pleading with you. Please, let me see. Are you deaf? You are the one who is deaf. Can't you hear her? Sylvia. She wants to speak to your brother, not you, girl. Sylvia, you're not helping matters here. Please, call your brother. Look, he's not in the country. So if you have any message for him, tell me, and then I will relate it to him. Rosie, I'll take it. No way. Don't tell me you're going to listen to after all she's done to you. It's okay. It's okay. Love you, Mama. I know I am an idiot. A fool even. And I know you don't want to see me because of some stupid decisions I made. Please, I beg you, forgive me. I was supposed to get engaged today, but I couldn't. I couldn't because I realized that I am in love with you and not him. Do you realize that too late? Don't you think so? I'm sorry. I am so sorry that I hurt you. I'm sorry that I took your love for granted. Yes, you didn't say it to me, but you showed me. You showed me every day. I you that I love you because I was scared. I was scared of being rejected. I was scared you were going to tell me you loved me even when you don't mean it. I know you're still figuring things out. I know you need time. I need you to please give me a second chance. I know I messed up. Please forgive me. I can't sleep without you. But if you don't feel the same way, I understand. Just 
want you to know that I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Angie!